faithful of food giveaway that thousands of people relied on last year is back in Southern Illinois tomorrow. Brooke Slyer joins us in the studio with the details. Brooke. Good morning, Evie. With the help of the USDA, the Laborers Local 773, Cusimano & Sons, and countless volunteers gave boxes of fresh dairy and produce to locals across the region. And that lasted from last June to the end of October. And since then, they've been working hard to bring it back. Several organizers told me a different food distribution company received the bid from fall to the beginning of this year. And that company, well, they weren't willing to deliver south of Champaign. So local, state and congressional lawmakers, as well as the labor union, began making calls to the USDA and any other federal agency involved. They never got an answer as to why Southern Illinois got left out of that round during the holidays. Uh, we have some of the poorest counties in the state. Um, some of the poorest counties, you know, um, uh, in surrounding states. And to be cut out of that this last time, it just didn't make any sense and we couldn't get any answers. So we've been working the phones and, and talking and meeting with anyone at the USDA or, or, or any of these federal agencies that had any parts to play in it, trying to, you know, emphasize the need here in Southern Illinois. I'm told the team found out just a few weeks ago that they would be receiving another USDA grant that will last through April. They hope to do weekly giveaways throughout the region and will hold their first distribution tomorrow morning. And volunteers will be loading 700 boxes of fresh dairy, fruits, vegetables and meats into people's cars. And that will take place at the SIU Banterra Center Arena starting at 9 in the morning until supplies last. And we have that information on our website, WSILTV.com. And Nick, I know it's still a day away, but they were asking for good weather for Friday. <laughs> it looks like they're actually going to luck out here.